In this video, we are going to learn all about mid-segments and the mid-segment theorem. In order to do this, we're going to start by drawing a triangle because mid-segments are a special segment that exists in triangles. On this triangle, I'm going to draw the midpoint on two of the sides. Remember that a midpoint is right in the middle of a line segment, and so it cuts the line segment into two congruent segments. I'm also going to draw the midpoint on this side over here. Now what a mid-segment is, is a segment that connects two midpoints on a triangle. So this is one of the mid-segments for this triangle. You can also make mid-segments that would connect this midpoint with the third midpoint over here and this midpoint with the third midpoint. So there would be three mid-segments for this triangle. There are two interesting properties that mid-segments have within their triangles. The first is that the mid-segment will always be parallel to the third side of the triangle. So those two sides are parallel. The second interesting property is that the mid-segment will always be half the length of the side that it's parallel to. So if this mid-segment was length x, then the full side down below would be length 2x. So for example, if you had a triangle with one of the mid-segments drawn in, and you knew the length of the third side of the triangle was 6, that would mean that the length of the mid-segment over here must be 3, because it has to be half the length of the third side. Don't forget that because there are parallel lines in this picture, there are also going to be some congruent angles. So going back to the original picture, this angle right here must be congruent to this angle down here because they are corresponding angles with the parallel lines. Similarly, this angle will be congruent to this angle for the same reason, because they are corresponding angles and there are parallel lines. It's important to remember this because sometimes you might want to find missing information about angles and knowing that those are parallel lines will help you to do this. So the three things you should remember are, first of all, what a mid-segment is. Secondly, that the mid-segment will always be parallel to the third side of the triangle. And third, that the mid-segment is half the length of the third side of the triangle.